This is what I've seen done. Woo! <laughs> I got scared. One, two, three. Hello! <laughs> Top of the morning, friends and family. How are you wonderful, beautiful people doing today? Usually, when I make a video for you guys, it's just I got an idea and I want to share it. Today is like the opposite of that. I've got no idea what's happening today. Well, I, I know that I have to go places. I'm just like this. It's kind of cool out here, actually. But where I'm going, it's going to be like 100 degrees. So I, I'm going places. I know where I'm going. I just don't know what the video is about necessarily. It might be the most random video I've ever made, ever which seems crazy because I've made lots of random videos that had virtually no point to them. But today may be the most random of all those videos yet. In fact, so random, let's start off with this. I got this little scorpion when I was down at GX3 last weekend. If you guys missed that, the newest reptile shop in the country, link right there, check it out. I got a scorpion. Never had a scorpion before. Don't really have much experience handling scorpions, but I'm gonna try it for you guys right here on camera right now since this is the most random video I've ever made, ever. All right, let's see how this goes, I guess. There is a scorpion in here. Yep, there she is, little emperor scorpion. Looks kind of greenish, kind of odd. Looks like she might be sleeping. I might have caught, this might be a real good time to do this because I don't think she knows that I'm coming for her. This is what I've seen done. Woo, <laughs> I got scared. You're cool. Don't be, don't be afraid. Okay, she's afraid. Woo, just don't stab me with that little stinger thing. How about that? I'm over here. It's okay. I'm jumpy. <laughs> like I said, I'm not a professional at this at all. <sighs> I did it. I picked it up. I'm feeling very accomplished right now. Ooh, look at that. It's a scorpion in my hand. An emperor scorpion. I, I'm told that this is an actual emperor scorpion. And sometimes there's like lookalikes, like four scorpions and stuff like that. But this is an actual, honest to God, emperor scorpion. And her name is Cinderella. I've named her Cinderella because she's actually missing a, whoa! Cinderella is an emperor scorpion and I named her Cinderella because she's missing uh, one of her feet back there. And I'm told that if she has another molt, then that foot will probably go back. But uh, for now, she's Cinderella because she has uh, that going on there. Hi, Cinderella. You're super cool. If I can figure out how to get the camera off this stand, <laughs> don't be scared. I know, I'm big. Oh, scorpion life. How cool is that, guys? <laughs> Scorpion. Hmm. Good times. Like I said, not super comfortable yet, but we'll get there with some time, I think. So check this out, more randomness. I left my microphone cable for my camera in Dave Coffin's rental car or lost it somewhere along the way. Now I've got to use this one, which is the shortest one I have. It's kind of cool because I can come way over here and be like, what's up guys? Yeah, it's, it's a thing. How many of you guys would want to see me film that scorpion eating? Anybody interested in seeing something like that? Hmm? All right, I gotta go pick up a rental car, so. Let's move it.
back when COVID first hit, uh, it was right around the same time that my truck lease was up and it didn't seem like we were going to be really going anywhere at the time. So I was like, there's no point in renewing a lease and having a huge payment every month for a vehicle I'm probably not going to need to drive. So I didn't renew the lease and we've just been a one vehicle family since then. And it's worked out because we don't really need to go anywhere all that often. And if I do, I just rent a car and it's much cheaper than paying for a car for a whole month and I'm not really driving. So anyway. Yeah, I, I want to make one more pit stop to show you guys something and then we'll, we'll get on our way. Was Allegro's uh, position, if I recall correctly, that the sacred mushroom was uh, Amanita muscaria? I was not expecting a Jeep Grand Cherokee. This thing's actually pretty sweet. Hey, you guys, check this thing out. All right, before we get too far down the road, I wanted you guys to see this. This, I'm excited about this. Check it out. <laughs> look at that, look at that. Hello! That's a brand new merch I had designed. We got t-shirts too. They come, these things are super freaking soft like ridiculously soft man and uh, I did finally you had Teespring merch down below so every single video now down below you're able to get these things it's got the big Aloha on the front with the fan like we usually do we didn't do it in this video but we usually do in the videos on the back says take care of yourself take care of each other and got the triple B logo on there I'm super stoked on these got sweatshirt these and I, I can't tell you guys like really how soft this is you have to feel it for yourself but it's super soft I don't know if you guys can see out there from the outside shots but it's super smoky out there again and I got a I've got a freaking headache man from the smoke I think or maybe just from going too hard this morning I don't know my head hurts we need to get to our destination one of our destinations so I can show you guys some cool stuff let's go the trash guys You guess Freedom Breeder, you guess right, boy. I haven't been here in a while, or well, I haven't filmed here in a while. I feel like they probably got some ball pythons that we haven't seen yet because they've been breeding out here, but I haven't been filming it. And look, we ran into a last minute, too. You guys remember this guy? Morning, guys. GX3, Grand Garden. <laughs> Boom. What's up, Brandon? How you doing, dude? Good, dude. How you been, man? <laughs> Let's check it out. All right, the very first thing to pop out to me is this super pastel leopard pied. I don't know how I've missed this thing the last few times I've been here, but there it is. I mean, I'm not usually a huge fan of high white pieds, but the head stamp on this thing is just so symmetrical and so clean. It's got that fat head, those big chunky boot head boobs that I like to see. Uh, yeah, super pastel leopard pied. I don't know why I want ice cream so much so often. I, I can relate to the problem, but I don't know why I want it either. Yeah, it's, it's a problem. <laughs> Definitely a problem. So before we go eat ice cream, Super GHI Mojave, 100% head albino, and just, if you like dark snakes, I mean, you just, you're gonna love this snake right here, I think. Look at how gorgeous, and he just, he just shed out, there's his shed. Look at this nice posing he's got going on. This is a beautiful, beautiful, ball python and again not a huge fan of albino either myself but this candino pied which is a candy albino pied that again is not focusing come on camera there we go that thing's pretty smoking i gotta admit even for somebody who doesn't really have a huge love for albino this is just a 
That's a good looking snake. I mean, they're all good looking snakes. Come on, let's be honest. And check this out. I had to pull this out because this guy's just starting to shed right now. But even when he's just starting to shed, look at this. This is a cypress. I mean, I don't even know if this thing's had his first meal yet or not. But it's a cypress het clown. And just the way those whites are contrasting coming up the sides next to the regular part of the snake. Oh, dude. And here's one I had shown you guys here that when it was just a hatchling. This is a super orange dream disco or fire calico yellow belly possible chocolate. And I need an animal like this at my house. Cause look at that. Man, that thing is just smoking. <laughs> what are you looking at me through the crack for like that? Why weren't you here last time we were here? I had to do something. Oh, you had to do something. Yeah. All right, well, Did you cut your hair? Yeah, I cut my hair. You would have seen it if you were here last time. Why? Did you lose a bet? No. Your midlife crisis? No. You're a little depressed? No. It's okay. No. Your shoulders right here. It's okay. I'm good. You cut your hair. Yeah. Very observant of you. Uh... I think I think Jesse's done with uh, his interview, so we're gonna film yeah, with Jesse you, for the next three you hours. Why did the monkey thing? What? Dude, you missed it. The baboons and the alligator. You missed it. It was oh, it was a good time. We're having a Halloween party. You should come. Where? Mandatory dress up. Mandatory dress up. At my house, yes. Your house? Yes. I might be able to make that work. I'm gonna I'm gonna dye a mop black and then put it on me and then I'm Costco. Walk around with flip flops all day. I'm Costco. I'm Costco. I'm Costco. <laughs> Sounds great. <laughs> I'll be there. Maybe. You're wearing shoes. It's a Christmas miracle. What do you guys think? You guys want me to go to the Halloween party and film whatever Jimmy's got going on that I missed at the last barbecue, apparently, with all these pictures right here? I guess. I guess. I guess. I guess. <clears throat> right, I'm, I'm going to film with Jesse for the next few hours, and then I'll, I'll be right back with you guys. <laughs> Coco blocks. <laughs> Get your Coco blocks, guys. I'm done here. We got a lot of filming done, actually, more than we usually do with Jesse. I don't know how I was able to film my own videos here. We were filming like the last four hours straight. I've still got to drive another three hours back home, but I'm making a pit stop along the way for you guys to come check out. Look at this sun. Are you guys seeing that? That is ridiculous. Holy crap, dude. That is like, yeah. I don't even know why I'm out here breathing this right now. This is, I'm out of here. Shout out to Jesse and Freedom Breeder Channel for making it easy on me today, relatively speaking. Usually it's, you know, not easy. I'm not saying that today was easy. Because, <laughs> that, dude, that sun is tripping me out. Okay, I gotta get out of here. This smoke is bad. Took a little pit stop in here. Scott Bolton's place of West Coast Retics and Reptiles. Uh, he's eating noodles. We got Aiden Perez over from uh, Rijal Reptiles. Paredes. Paredes, whatever. <laughs> I started with a P, I've got to close it. <laughs> <laughs> and then these guys are eating noodles. I'm playing with the noodle. And uh, Scott has this little baby boy available. Actually, that's what I wanted to show him. This is a Platinum Phantom Sunfire. 100% het genetic stripe. Looking absolutely fabulous. And coming from a great man. If you guys don't know Scott, well, your life is not as good as it could be. <laughs> there you go. Hey, do you have anything you want to say to the people? No, not right now. <laughs> I'm gonna eat my food. Fair enough. Maybe that wasn't the most random video I've made ever, but I figured I'd show you guys everything I brought on the trip because it's actually more stuff that I brought in a less than 24 hour trip than I usually bring in a week. Toiletry bag. One, two, three. Bottles of whiskey. One, two, three. Whiskey glasses. My pillow. My laptop tray. My helmet. My one wheel. Yeah! <laughs> My camera bag. And I was thinking that I might do a video showing you guys everything that's in my camera bag. Leave a comment down below if that's something you enjoy seeing. I literally used every single thing in this camera bag to make today's video. So if you want to see what's in there, I'll do a super fast tour of it. But other than that, Lay Moon's done. We're done. We're out. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. That was the shortest video ever. <laughs>